Hi guys, our CJ Stan here with another Marvel Universe review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a villain. Pretty cool one too. This is Marvel Universe Marvel's Kang. Um, definitely, I think, a standout figure. And a fairly newer figure, I think, from last year or something. So, uh, pretty cool. Let's take a look at this guy's packaging first. So, really cool. You got the Marvel Universe uh, logo, Ages 4 Plus. Image of Kang there. Not my favorite, but looks pretty good. Marvel's Kang. Which is kind of interesting. Marvel's Kang. Perhaps there's another Kang in another franchise, so they just kind of want to clarify that. The figure is in the packaging. You got the includes collectible comic shot. Right there, the Avengers Kang lives. Uh, he does not come with a figure stand, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Showing Hazard, you got the Marvel Universe Series 4, number 15. Flip around here. You got image of the figure, his bio. Marvel's Kang, you have the rest of the wave, uh, Future Foundation Spider-Man, Scarlet Witch, and She-Hulk. They actually had the entire wave at Toys R Us. They had a couple of She-Hulk, a couple of Kang, only one Scarlet Witch, and like 10 of Future Foundation Spider-Man. Then you got MODOK down here saying, mental organism designed only for collecting them all. That's kind of cool. And you got the bio. A time machine built by his ancestor Reed gave Nathaniel Richards the ability to reshape the past and bend the future to his will. Jumping between time and dimensions, his being was spliced into multiple planes of existence all linked by name, Kang, and their common goal, total domination of their spot in the space-time continuum. Able to harvest advanced technology from future worlds, Kang had a suit of wep and weapons beyond scientific comprehension, giving him untold power wherever he and whenever he chooses to wield it. So, really cool. Cool packaging, but not gonna keep them there. Let's get them open and I'll show you guys the figure. Alright, now we got Kang of the packaging. So, uh, he does come with a little comic thing right here. Just a little piece of cardboard. And he also comes with this gun right here, which is nicely weathered. It's kind of silvery with some weathering on it. So, that looks really cool. And he holds it really well. So, that's really cool. Let's take a look at this guy though, so let's take a look at the head sculpt here. Head sculpt's really nice. He has like the white eyes, the blue face, and the purple helmet. All the purple on this guy is very nice and glossy and shiny. I really like it. He has the collar thing which is just kind of a loose piece and if you remove the helmet, not the helmet, but the head, you can't actually take that off. You got a purple kind of stripe there with this green with some nice detailing on it. Green belt. Pliable plastic right there for to not to limit articulation. You got the nice glossy purple kind of armor right there. Got the purple on the gloves as well. Really good looking figure. Kang's an interesting character. It's nice that they made a figure of him. I do have a couple comics with him in it. As for articulation, Kang has a ball jointed head, ball and shoulders, swivel at the bicep, hinge at the elbow, yeah. Ball hinge wrists, a ball joint torso with a swivel at the waist, ball and chips, swivel at the thigh, double hinge knees, swivel at the uh, shin, and a ball hinge ankle that also goes, does this pivot right here, so you can have him like this, but still have his feet flat out, so he can, it makes it a lot easier for him to stand. If I can kind of get a pose here. Uh, yeah. It's a really cool figure. Kang's really cool. Really cool figure. I definitely recommend him if you're into the Marvel Universe line. So anyways, that's my review, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.